What's going on, jams and jambets? It's Fire Monkey here, currently in the middle of a match getting shot at, but shooting backwards, or I guess not backwards, but back at the enemy. And in today's YouTube video, we're going to be doing a little bit of a news recap today over multiple topics. I thought about just making one video talking about some free rewards you can obtain in the game right now, but I decided, you know what, it's better for me just combine everything that's been happening recently within the past day of Fortnite together so that you have a general overview of what all to be expecting when it comes to the game right now. So firstly, we got to talk about the easy things, you know, the pretty simplistic things, such as this right here, which is Mr. Savage getting his own locker bundle, which will be in the item shop at Shop Reset tonight. Included in the locker bundle is a skin, a pickaxe, a glider, a wrap, and an emote, so you get basically a whole entire set to kind of rock out, especially if you want to rock out something that, you know, Mr. Savage might use all the time, or might not. You know, I'm not really too familiar with everything Mr. Savage does or doesn't wear. You have this a set available to you once the release is in the shop tonight. Now, it also means that if there's a cosmetic in here that you've been waiting for, you could either pick up the bundle at a discounted price or at least pick up the cosmetic that you've wanted because it will be returning, so it's a way to guarantee, hey, we might not be actually purchasing this depending on if you own or don't own some of the items or if you just don't care about the items, but at the same time, if you're someone who has been wanting a specific item, a part of the, you know, Mr. Savage's locker bundle, it's always nice to have a heads up being like, hey, this is returning tonight, so you can get a little bit of, you know, a leeway figuring out do you want to save up your money and spend it on this or wait for, like, the Jujutsu Kaisen in collaboration in the V25.30 update. With that said, however, that isn't the only thing we're going to be talking about because I feel for our next topic, we have to talk about something that you all know and love, which is mantling. Sadly, we don't have any information about hurdling ever returning to the Fortnite Island, but what we do have is a buff to mantling. So when you actually go up to a building, as you can see right there, it actually didn't activate, but mantling has been buffed, so it actually activates at a higher, you know, height, verticality, distance than it did before. Before, it was a number of 250, and that was, you know, the vertical vertical height, but after this hotfix they made it 325. Now regarding how big of an increase that is, I'm not entirely for sure, but it's basically like they kind of, you know, took the current value, divided it by two, and then added the divided part to the current, um, you know, value in order to make it a lot easier for people to actually mantle on top of stuff. Now they did mention that it was an issue that this was being fixed on or whatever, but honestly I think it was them testing out, you know, changing the mantling height and stuff and realizing maybe their test made it into the game or something when they didn't intend for it, so they finally went through with fixing that. So if you thought that you were having issues where in the boat, like in the past or whatever, you were able to mantle onto an object and then after the update and everything else, you were having struggles, you know, trying to mantle onto something such as that right there, that has been fixed and you will be able to mantle on those objects a lot more. And it's kind of funny to think about the fact that if Epic Games wanted to, they could modify the game to make it so you could mantle up anywhere, right? So they could make it so if I'm standing right here, I could mantle to the roof of that right? It all depends on their height values and how they change it, and it would be interesting to see what would happen if, you know, someone managed to get a height value for the verticality mantling distance of, like, 9 million or something, right? Because keep in mind, the current mantle distance, which as you can see right here, is pretty good now. It's in a pretty solid spot where it definitely does not feel as finicky anymore. It, it's like, you know, imagine, like, quadrupling that, because right now we're only at 325 distance, whereas, you know, if someone goes ahead and somehow manages to modify it and get, like, 5 million distance, Oh boy, would that be one interesting just climb to watch happen. Now, that's not the only two topics for today's video because we have to talk about the Quinta Safe event. This is a Brazil and Portuguese event that you are able to participate in regardless of which region you're in. However, it relates to Discord. Now, by actually participating in this event, you can earn two free emoticons and two free sprays. The two emoticons are seen on the left side of the image, so you know the closest to my webcam, and the two sprays are actually seen on the right side of the image. And something very interesting about this is one of the sprays actually has released before. If we go ahead and go to my favorites, we have the You Are Beautiful spray right here that is technically like insanely rare it's like an OG rare spray in a way right because the only way you're able to uh, actually obtain that spray was through codes that were given away on Twitter and there weren't that many of the codes right there was a decent you know small amount of codes that were giving out and I do believe that they only had like 2,500 uses per them so as of right now this spray right here the you are beautiful spray was technically like a flex spray for some people just because of how rare it was and you know seeing it actually being released in a more available fashion 
passion for a lot of people is funny because you know you're just gonna see people on Twitter be like no my OG rare spray and all the jokes about needing compensation or whatever else now that isn't the only rare spray or whatever that released before through a code system because if we actually go through our sprays here we have the fun flower emoticon which had actually released as part of the whole entire spray bundle the fun flower emoticon isn't a part of this whole entire free you know cosmetic program or whatever or promotion with discord but it could be in the future right considering that they're making the actual spray a part of it who knows how long it is until the animated emoticon becomes one of those free rewards later down the line but for now i guess i have my own little exclusive emote now with that said how can you actually participate in order to earn the free emoticons and sprays well you have to join the official fortnite brazil slash portuguese discord server and then you have to click the get started button that will show up in the whole entire quinta uh, safe event the you know like chat room or whatever on each uh, thursday in august right and then after you've actually pressed the get started button you just log in game and you play for an hour that's it there's no hard quest you have to do you don't have to like solve three riddles <laughs> or anything like that all you do is log into this um you know discord bot or whatever else play for an hour on specific days during specific times and earn your free reward now for the rewards i do want to go in order from you know the first reward to the last reward so let's go ahead and pop this image back up on screen the first reward is the i got you emoticon which is you know the one all the way on the left that will be for august 3rd the second reward is actually the handshake the shake explosion spray which is the third icon in the image that is for august 10th the right on emoticon is august 17th which is actually the first one so my bad you know the first reward is actually the second image and you know what i think this is just going to get too confusing if i continue rambling on so let me go ahead and use my webcam to kind of talk about this a little bit better here so we have this reward right below me this is august 3rd and it's the i got you emoticon we have this for the second reward which is august 10th and it's the shake explosion spray we have this as the third week's reward being august 17th with the right on emoticon and then this is the final reward on august 24th being the you are beautiful spray so you know it's a little bit in a dismantled order or whatever else but it is how it's going to go down now regarding when the challenges will go live it is a very odd thing so you just got to keep on checking right because it did mention something about like 7 p.m. their time or like Brazilian time or whatever else which in Eastern time would be 6 p.m. aka when shop tabs release and then you know it'd be going on for 24 hours after that so on Thursdays you know right when the shop tab releases that is when you're going to be wanting to actually go ahead and check the discord for that get started button in order to participate in the event now keep in mind that you know even though this is an event that's being posted on a discord that isn't you know like an English speaking discord or whatever else it is still something you're able to do because all you're doing is linking your account you know your epic games account or whatever else to a discord bot on their server you just kind of got to navigate the fact that you might be using google translate if you're unfamiliar with what the text actually ends up saying but yeah that is a little bit of a nice benefit for you guys out there who want some free emoticons these are called discord weekly quests and it could be expanded on in the future to be in other regions you know with other rewards and whatnot because we have seen them do discord quests more and more recently and it seems to go pretty well for them but of course you know that is something i thought i'd mention for you guys the discord server link will be in the description down below this video if you need to find a quick place to go over there to find out everything but i guess for the final topic of everything going on for today's you know content refresh or whatever else you want to call it we have to talk about the grapple gloves now for some reason when the grapple gloves had actually returned in building enabled matches it had actually had this you know unique tag enabled on it which was set to make it so it blocked your access to using the normal build mode what i think this was supposed to do was make it so that whenever you're in the middle of swinging around anything you weren't able to open up the build mode menu because of you know a visual glitch or something like that that might have happened but it appears that it was causing some other issues so they ended up disabling that so if you're using the grapple gloves you should be able in building enabled modes to bring up the whole entire menu where you're able to place walls and everything else while you have this weapon equipped i assume that maybe it had like a huge restriction where it was just like if you had the weapon as your selected item you weren't able to open the build menu at all and it probably caused a few bugs here and there but luckily it has been fixed and you know it's just nice to see that they're making these little quality of life changes and it's interesting to see how all these changes are coming at the very end of the season uh, right you know one everyone's kind of like all right we're chilling out a bit here we're not really that interested in anything going on they're like boom grapple glove boom hot fix boom we're fixing mantling boom here's a locker bundle boom here's some quests to do in the game boom here's reboot rally boom here's jujutsu kaisen right it's like you have everything going out at once even the level up quest pack that it's like okay 
Whoa! The past few days have been packed with content and I don't even know where this came from. Like, couldn't you spread this out throughout the entire season a little bit more or something? I don't know, but with that said, hope you champs and champions enjoyed today's YouTube video. If you did, consider subscribing to support the content I create, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another upload. Peace out.